Hello my friends, Ray Janukian back here today with another internet marketing tip. And today I would like to talk to you guys about Gravitars. Yes, Gravitars. Now, some of you know what they are. Some of you may be sitting back right now saying, Ray, what the heck are you talking about? What is a Gravitar? That's why I'm on my blog. I wanted to give you an idea of what a Gravitar is. Now, you've been on other people's blogs. If you're a blogger, you know, you read somebody's article, it's, it's a common courtesy to leave a post. Um, some people actually have tribes. They help people build their blogs. You know, you comment for this person, he comes back and comments to yours. It helps people build their blogs up, gets more people on them, and just gets more traffic on their sites. But uh, that's really not what the lesson is. The lesson is how to make a Gravitar. So, for instance, this is an article on my website I wrote about, uh, you know, how to make money on YouTube with my uh, video marketing course, okay? So I scroll down to the bottom of this article and here's some comments that were left. Well, here you go. You see these? This guy here leaves a comment, this guy leaves a comment, this guy leaves, you know, all these people are leaving comments, um, but there's nobody there. It's just this little shadow figure, okay? Like this guy. This is a nice comment here. Your blog is so informative, I just bookmark you. Keep up the good work. That's the kind of thing you like to see on your blog, right? Yeah, you notice the only one here that has a picture is me, and that was uh, replying to somebody that left me a nice post. I just basically thanked him. This picture right here is a Gravatar. Now, there's a specific way you set those up, and I, I would, you know, really guys listen if you're doing blogging you know it's no different than anything else you're trying to brand yourself you want to get yourself out there and this little shadow box here that's not doing anything for you you want your mugshot on that website if you're gonna take the time to work it work it get your picture out there so how do you do it how do you set up a gravatar how does it work well number one it's tied to your email address so this is something you know you don't even have to have a blog to have a gravatar so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. What you need to do is come on over to Gravatar.com. Again, that's Gravatar.com. Uh, I'll get it up here nice and big for you before this is all over. And uh, what you want to do is sign up. Just come over here and sign up and make yourself. It's a free account. It doesn't cost anything to do this. It's not a dime. Uh, for me, I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and get signed in here. Okay, so here's the inside of my account. These are the two Gravatars I have. I've got one for myself and one for my wife, Lisa. I'm going to go ahead and make a third here. Because, uh, we're, you know, we both can use our own individual ones. Uh, most of the marketing I do for my business, uh, other than my blog, uh, I brand Lisa and I together as a couple. It's not about Ray. It's not about Lisa. It's always Ray and Lisa. So I'm going to go ahead and make a Gravatar for us as a couple and, and let you guys see how you do it. It's actually very simple to do. And what the heck, let's go ahead and do the picture first. So... I'm going to come right down here, add a new image, get it off my computer's hard drive, and click browse here. And I had a nice picture. Let me see where the heck was that. Let's go to go into my pictures. And I believe that was in my website folder. I want that one. There's a nice picture of her and I hanging out by the pool I want to use. Yeah, there we go. This one will work. Okay, so I'm going to take that one. Open. And click Next. Now it'll upload your picture. Okay, so here we are. Now this one, I know this looks pretty grainy because that's actually a small image and they really blew it up. But uh, the picture itself on a blog is only going to be this big. And even if they blow it up that big, it's still a nice clean shot. So you don't need a big picture on here. It just takes a ton of time to upload. And again, this being grainy, nobody's going to see it anyway. So it's in. Uh, if your picture doesn't fit perfect, this one's actually a perfect square. That's why you'll notice these dots all the way around the edges. Okay. If your picture isn't exactly the right size, that'll be here. And then uh, it'll have arrows that you can move it to the left or the right or up and down. And then when you're done, you know, you get that, that box right where you want. Just hit crop and finish. All right, then you make you uh, rate your picture. Uh, I would suggest using a G-rated picture so people actually will let you leave it on your blog. All right, so that picture's in there. And I'm going to say do not use this image yet because first I've got to do now is I've got an added email address. So, All right, now I've got this picture in here. 
Now what we need to do is add a new email address because I've got to tie it to an email address. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add a new email. And uh, we'll put in my, uh, oh, let's just do a, eh. I want to do a Gmail. Yeah, let's do my Gmail. It populated for me. Don't even have to worry about it. All right, so there it is. Now I click Add. Now they're going to send me a confirmation email because, again, they want to make sure I am who I say I am. So we're going to go ahead, get over to my email here, get their confirmation in. Gravatar Verify. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. Go back to the Gravatar. Paste it. And voila, it has been confirmed. So there it is right there, my Gmail account. So now what I do is I pick this. I confirm. <coughs> I pick this. I add that to it. I'm going to confirm it again. And there we go. See, that's all it took, guys. You had the email address. You had the picture. Do the confirmation and you're done. So now I've got it right here. There's my email address. There's my Gravatar. Now, <clears throat> let's see if we can make it work. I'm going to go over to uh, my friend's uh, blog here. This is uh, my friend and business partner, the incredible Grace Weiss. She just, uh, I was just reading this earlier. She put up a really nice article over here on uh, Jeffrey Combs, who was, you know, he did a big thing. He was talking about uh, the number one killer in our industry here, which is procrastination. So uh, what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'm going to post a comment. Now, the only hook to this is, guys, honestly, I don't know if, if Grace lets these come up automatically or, or if she has to approve them before they're shown. So I don't know if we're going to see this or not, but we'll give it a shot. <coughs> Email. All right, and for the website, I will put uh, right there. We'll do the branding site here, rainlisaj.com, and for a comment. Okay, so again, anyways, awesome. Thanks for sharing, Grace. JC really nailed it on this one here. This is about procrastination. I'd say I'm never guilty, but you already no better and she does because again grace is one of my business partners so uh click and let's see if it comes right up or she's probably going to approve it all right so post up my comment let's go down here yep, that's the only hang up guys so we're not going to see it because she's got to approve it and i'm going to tell you guys that too i do the same thing it's the right way to do it somebody posts a comment on your blog you don't want to just clear it right out of the way. You want to approve the comments because, believe me, you're going to get spam in the comment section on your blog. It's just the way it is. It's going to happen. Now, <clears throat> I'll also urge you, if you're out there posting on blogs, keep it clean. All right? Don't spam people. What do I mean by spamming people? Don't come down and throw posts on somebody's blog about, hey, my opportunity is this, or I've got this great affiliate product, or hey, you can generate leads like crazy here. That's spam. You're not building relationships with that. Post a nice comment. Hey, great blog, great information. Or if you know if you read a specific article that really took, hit it with you, say, hey, this was great and this is why. And if you've got more to add to it, go ahead and add a little comment. Leave your website because that's the link. That's the whole function of this really is to backlink to your website. So make sure you put your web, uh, your link on there. Just leave a nice positive comment. Get some backlinking and, and, and do it correctly. But again, if you're doing it, Get the Gravatar. Get the picture out there and do it the right way. All right, everybody. This is Ray Januki and another one dedicated to your success. So get out there and make it a great day because you absolutely deserve it.